Hey guys, so recently I bought a collection and it was for my friend. It wasn't a super great deal, so don't yell at me when you don't see the value. Uh, he's quitting magic and I figured why not? I can probably go for a collection because uh, it's been a while. I spent $450 and this is the majority. I spent about seven hours sorting the cards and this is what I found. Most of the cards um, it was about 60,000 cards, but most of them were not good. So it was obviously picked, it was from a store that bankrupt and that's that. And normally when stores bankrupt, they don't have really great stuff because the great stuff has already been sold at discount price. So it's whatever remains. This card used to be like a $20 card. It's no longer a $20 card. So it was $450 worth tax, 500 bucks is what I spent. So we got our foundries, we have this. I thought this was kind of cool. I don't know why I put this in. I guess I wanted to add it to the Princess Cube. This is worth a few dollars. Uh, Might of Old Corrosives. I only found two of these, which is so weird because he has so much time shift. But again, you know, he's trying to sell cards and he sold what he could and then whatever he couldn't sell remained. Choke. Um, so you can kind of see the card game. Um, this card is worth money, actually. Uh, Force. And uh, I, I thought Pride of the Clouds was worth more, but it's worth a few dollars. Coat of Arms. Leave me a comment below if you guys feel like this is a good deal or a bad deal. Warship. I have another Warship for a 7th edition. Price of Progress is pretty cool. Awaken. Tolarian West is like an $8 card. This is the most expensive card in the set. Again, it's not a lot of high value stuff. It is probably stuff that he couldn't sell. And he needed money because, you know, his business just bankrupt. So I was like, okay, fine. This card's gone up. This is Winding Cannon is pretty good. So now let's talk about this one. Somehow he accumulated, and this is not me specking on it because people hate, because look at the sticker, it's from a store. Hall of Gemstones, how many is that? Like seven? Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. He accumulated 14 of these cards and no one wanted them. Recently, they did spike because they are on the reserve list. I'm not saying to buy the card, it sucks. I don't actually know what it is good for. I assume it's good against Adrazi, but Adrazi is so fast that it'll just beat you down before you can play it. So anyway, I found these, which were amazing. So eight of these visions, uh, near mint. So the good thing about his store is everything is organized and really not. This card is worth like 10 bucks now. Crazy, but it is, and I'm glad. Another Mox Lotus. I feel like I raffled off one of my Mox and Lotuses, maybe. This card's worth like 10 bucks. Scion's worth five. And then this is where most of the value came from. Actually, Ensnaring Bridge is worth a lot too. It came from these lands that just I mean, honestly, I got in worship. I didn't, there was no way for me to get to $500 of retail value unless I hit the land. And th those lands have gone up from like 50 cents to $5 now. So it's a huge difference because there's a bunch of them. Ensnaring Bridge is like a $45 card. Worship is a $10 card. Dragon, love this card. I could collect her all day. Boy, it was ex incredibly expensive. Lord of the Undead, Walk the Eons. And again, some, just like random $5 cards kind of make it, it's not the best, but again, you do get 60,000 bulk, but the bulk is really, really bulk. A uh, coat of arms, uh, foundry. I'll actually put the foundry with somewhere else. No, I think that's in the beginning. And this cute little dude, this cute little dude just worth like six bucks. I was like, oh, okay, that's some value back. Um, culture exchange is worth some money to good only two good taxing probes. So that was pretty much $500 with tax that it cost me and I did get bulk, but bulk is useless to me. I just donate bulk to high schools or to other local game stores. Uh, bulk for the most part is not really worth, um, I know people will say, oh, ship it to me, but like the shipping is more expensive than the cards are, are worth. So anyway, and they're so heavy. It was so heavy. That was my $500, I guess like it's 450, but then tax in Texas is like 8.25%. So it gets very close to $500. I'm just gonna put it at like $500 cause it's so close to it anyway. Um, it's my $500 haul. 
how do you guys think I did? I know that it's not the most valuable card, money cards, but I calculated the value, at least in retail, there's enough, there's about 500 here in retail, and then there's the bulk, right? The bulk will, um, and I'll show you actually my collection. I'm gonna show you my booster box collection because I think you guys will enjoy it. I have booster boxes from all sets, just every single set from Invasion to, uh, Evening Tide, every, pretty much every set, and it would be nice to see my booster boxes. Anyways, that's it guys. Bye.